blunt in the game. Motion Zach Ertz. Under center is Wentz. He goes to Blunt. He's got a first down. He's got more. He's at the 40. He's at the 45, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. He can't be stopped. Finally at the 4. A runaway train. A runaway train. Joining us for this week's tape study, Eagles offensive coordinator Frank Reich. Welcome, welcome to the show, Coach. Thanks, Reich. All right, running game was working well against the Chargers. Let's look at the final scoring drive that you guys had set up by big plays, starting with this guy here, LeGarrette Blunt. Great job of LeGarrette running the ball all day, running hard. Even better job of this offensive line. No doubt, for sure. So watch what we had here. We had a little whack play right here. This is inside zone blocking with whack action by the tight end. The purpose of that is this action right here distorts this linebacker slows it down. We always talk about our offensive line wanting to smash the stacks. Watch Jason Peters and Wiz right here on a double team there. And Kelsey and Brandon Brooks right there getting movement at the point of attack. Now here was the key that set it off there. That movement and watch Zach Ertz here. Takes out two. Takes out Joey Bosa and their linebacker to create the cutback hole for LeGarrett. And then there it is. We heard about beast mode. This is big cat mode. <laughs> we got our own version of beast mode. It's right here, number 29. That's big cat right there. Doing his thing, stiff arm, speed. That doesn't just get everybody out there, those Eagles. That gets the old line fired up. We're fired up over here in the stands. That's the kind of stuff we need from him. Yeah, watching the big guy run. Really wore that defense down. Didn't seem like guys wanted to tackle him late in the game. Well, would you? I mean, the guy's 250 <laughs> pounds. I mean, he's, he's a monster. I mean, just look at him go. I mean, this is fun. I mean, fun for our fans, but this is the kind of thing that, you know, this is bonus. You don't expect to get 50-yard runs from a guy 250 pounds, but... Great run by LeGarrette. Wendell Smallwood also did a nice job. Talk about on this play here, this touchdown puts us up 26-17 late in the game. A great call by Coach. I'll, I'll be honest with you. We actually, there was a timeout here. Coach had a pass called. And I, I don't know all the things that went through his head, but uh, he changed his mind. He said, no, we're going, we're going with this run right here. It's third and three. I mean, the game is on line. I mean, the quarterback on the other side is pretty good as well. But he has a lot of confidence. Watch Jason Kelsey right here. Watch the leg drive. Watch the push, the smash in the stacks. But here's one of the blocks I love on this. We always say to the offensive line, hey, front side wins games, backside wins championships. That's kind of one of the mantras, right? Watch Jason Peters on the backside here. Just look how violent this is. I mean, this guy's been playing 14 years. That guy's probably 320 pounds. Watch what happens to him. He just goes flying to the ground, creates a big hole. Now, this safety here is unblocked. That's Smallwoods. He's got to beat the safety right there. The toughest block in the whole deal is back here. This is almost an impossible block for a tight end against a defensive end. We just tell these guys, just slow him down a little bit because he'll be dragging at his feet. We'll still have time to get three yards. Selleck does just enough. Smallwood said, I'm not going to be denied. Huge play in the game. Running game was working well, but the passing game also had his moments in this game. We take a look at a play here. Some things, Coach, you can teach, and then some things are just natural ability. <laughs> That's well said. So, you know, when you're running the ball well, play action game is good. We had seen on film over and over again that when teams show this scheme, Melvin Ingram is going to come hard down here knowing this tight end's coming to block down on him. Well, sometimes they don't always do it. You know, someone forgot to tell him to come down the line here, and he came up the field. That's a tough sled now. Selleck does a great job here. That's an impossible block. Now, look at this. Carson has his back turned. Here's the NFL sack leader. And then watch the move he makes to get out of here with his back turned, right, play fake, Right, look at the linebacker suck up, first of all, on the, on the play fake. Now, Carson just, he peeks, he sees, boom, look how quick that is. And now, the pass itself, right, it's a play-action pass, three levels. We're going to have one right here. Here goes Torrey deep. Here comes Nelson on the crossing route. And here we are coming around there as well. So he's got three levels. That's the progression, one, two, three. Well, he scrambles to the right. I can tell you this, he's not in the progression. He shouldn't be thrown to him. Furthermore, there are scramble rules. When you scramble right, you never throw back left unless you're a great player and you said, I'm going to take this game into my own hands and make something big time happen. Huge play in the game. Great play by Carson and LeGarrette right there. And then a big play here, backed up. You got second down. Could be run, could be pass. You give a little bit of a run look here. I know as a linebacker, I'm thinking, okay, you got two tight ends over yeah. there. I'm alert for the run to my left. This is a formation that when, when we got in this particular configuration was kind of a heavy run look. So here, here again, it was going to be a play action. As an offensive staff, when we're looking at this stuff, we really thought that we had an opportunity here with this 
play action switch release that we could put this corner in a bind. He's got to make a decision. If I fall out here on Selleck, which is really what he should do because he's got deep third, then Ertz is going to be running on their inside linebacker. That's a win for us, I can tell you. But if this corner gets nosy on Ertz, then here comes Selleck down on the sideline and we'll throw the ball to him. And so as you see this play develop, sure enough, the corner falls back on Selleck. That leaves Ertz one-on-one. -on -one. Linebacker, though, I give him credit, he plays it pretty good, but still a mismatch for us, but still takes a great throw and a great catch to make the big play down the field.